Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be my quick tutorial on tarantula and wasp catching. Uh, so, usually, you know, when you're shaking trees, doing fruit, you'll want to have your net out just in case it's a wasp. But when you're out here harvesting wood or something, you know, that's smacking trees and then, you know, you have the potential for wasps to come out. It's not good for wasps to come out when you got the axe, uh, but there is a pretty easy way. Um, I'm not going to be able to go find wasps because that would take far too long, but I do have uh, some clips and, and I'll be showing those uh, rather than trying to go find wasps and, and demonstrating. But basically what you want to do is you want to be running and then uh, once you get uh, to where you've got a little bit of distance on the wasp, that's when you want to go into your pockets. You want to hit X to pull up your pockets. And then go over to your net and then hit hold. And then you'll switch to your net. Now by doing this, hitting X to open your pockets, it pauses the wasp. So they don't uh, come at you and, and try to swarm you. When you go into your tool ring, they do. But if you go straight into your pockets, they pause. You get a chance to grab your net. And then this, what this does is it turns you around 180 degrees, and then you turn and you face the wasp. That's only if you, uh, if you run upwards. Then you, then you can do that and then face directly towards the wasp. And then so, for tarantulas, uh, basically, uh, you, your best bet is to just, uh, well, if, if you know they're coming, what you do is you, uh, you sneak up on them, you sneak with the net, and then you uh, you continue to sneak until you see them like get ready to pounce or whatever you know, that's their that's your cue to just stop dead in your tracks, and wait for them to they'll, they'll eventually lower themselves if you just don't move. And then that's when you can inch on closer in. They'll raise themselves up again. You just stop every time they do that. They'll eventually go back down, and you literally just do that until you get into range to catch them. And then they just they don't even charge you nothing. Super easy way. Uh and. I also got this clip where I'm uh, I'm just running around my town, and then I accidentally find a tarantula. And you, uh, I, I whipped around, and then uh, and just caught him by accident. Sort of by accident. I mean, it, it was it was re I got really lucky with the timing, and uh, that way is a lot harder. But uh, doing it without them even trying to charge at you is uh, is definitely the easiest way to go about that. So. Those are my two tips for uh, very easily catching uh, both the wasp and the tarantula. Probably the two hardest bugs in the game to catch. Let me uh, let me get this balloon. It's been bothering me. I've been trying to talk. This balloon's been chilling here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, super short, simple tutorial. Uh, this is gonna be up on YouTube. I, uh, I hope y'all enjoy it, and I'll catch you tomorrow for some more Animal Crossing videos. See ya.